is seven in at five. Hello and good evening, everybody. The FBI reportedly focusing on classified documents the former president brought with him to Mar-a-Lago after leaving office. But Trump and some of his allies are calling this a case of dirty politics. Seven's Vanessa Medina is live at his Mar-a-Lago estate where this all went down. Vanessa. Well, the former president's home ransacked by the FBI. You can see there are Trump supporters out here. They have been here all day, a steady stream of them as the evening uh, goes on. We are seeing more and more supporters out here with their flags. However, we are also learning that Trump's team, his legal team, has known about this probe for quite some time. We are a nation that no longer has a... Former President Donald Trump posting a campaign-like video online in the wake of an FBI search at his Mar-a-Lago estate. The feds there Monday as part of an investigation looking into the handling of presidential documents taken to the property, including classified ones. The former president not there at the time, but seen in New York City leaving Trump Tower. It's also where his supporters and opponents held dueling demonstrations Tuesday. In a statement, the former president calling the search dark times for the nation, saying in part such an assault could only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has now become one of those countries, corrupt at a level not seen before. They even broke into my safe. It is unprecedented for Department of Justice and FBI to raid a former president's house. Seven News political analyst and director of the Gordon Institute for Public Policy at Florida International University, Brian Fonseca. And so this clearly, in my opinion, signals, you know, Attorney General uh, Merrick Garland is serious about considering paths towards indicting or at least pressing criminal charges against the former president. Trump's family also reacting. Go through the gates, start ransacking an office, ransacking a closet. You know, they broke into a safe. He didn't even have anything in the safe. And this is a very convenient way to just throw a little more mud on Donald Trump. This all started May of last year when the National Archives contacted Trump's team about important documents not handed over when he left office. The agency did eventually receive 15 boxes of presidential records that Trump brought with him to Mar-a-Lago after leaving the White House. Some documents damaged. The Justice Department didn't get involved until it was asked by the National Archives in February to investigate. The DOJ spending the next few months communicating with the former president's team on multiple occasions before the search warrant was executed Monday. I think that there are something big is there. I don't think it's going to be just letters. I think it could be about military operations. This is me speculating. I want to be clear, but I could see the former president thinking those were cool or fun and we were not a White House that followed the rules. Also, the Biden administration saying it had no prior knowledge of the search by the FBI. No, the president was not briefed, did not, was not aware of it. No, no one at the White House was given uh, a heads up. So the blows keep coming for the former president. We are also learning that a U.S. court of a U.S. federal court of appeals has ruled that a House committee can have access. They have the right to see the former president's taxes from 2015 to 2020. This should end a multi-year legal battle into these tax returns. And we're also learning that this committee could have access to these returns immediately. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Vanessa Medina, 7.